What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the King and I Life podcast, hosted by myself, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother, Son Soul X, in his joint. Check it out. Hit us up www.kingandilife.com for all our podcast info. Subscribe to whatever podcast platform that you choose. Also, hit us up k i n g a n d e y e three six nine at gmail.com. Email us your suggestions, your feedback, and all that good stuff. Tune in to us live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share because we are all over all those social media platforms. Stay tuned for the good stuff. Yeah, we out. All right, everyone. It is the King and I Life podcast hosted by myself, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my co-host, Sun Solex, who is not here right now. And we have a very, very lovely guest. We have... It's Michelle. Hey. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> yes, she made it. She made it. I mean, they tried to, oh, I'm surprised Lock on My didn't come out and get them, but. Uh... Let I tr- like, but it, she was fairly <laughs> close. That's why I'm telling you. I was like, y'all want me to call out tomorrow because I don't have to be here. All right. Oh, my. Oh, I was exhausted. And I, it was just, I was there so early this morning. It's just like, how much more do you guys want from me? And don't get me wrong. I love my job. I knew that was coming. Because I do. I do. I'm not going to lie. And I have a lot of fun doing it. But I was just like, all right, y'all got to, y'all pushing it to the limit. Oh, my. (laughs) I love my job, too. I uh, worked from home. (laughs) Oh, see, lucky you. Yeah, yeah. I have to go in now. Sometimes. I I think we're trying to figure out this whole work from home stuff. Uh Now, especially since we tried it out. And it actually works. So we're trying mm. it out again. I just don't know if I'm going to fall into that category of, hey, we don't need you in the office. You could just work from home. I mean, because it's just too needy. How do you qualify for work from home? You have to be Michelle and not luck on my. Like, how does that work? It's, it's, um, I have multiple personality disorder. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the ethnic club. <laughs> you are not alone in that. Right. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, it, so during COVID, it was so easy because I was working from home mm-hmm. and I was doing all the podcast stuff. So I had a lot of time to bounce them both out. But okay. then when I get stuck at work, I have to literally commit to like one or two days towards mm. the end of the week to make sure I record, to make sure I edit, to make sure I have stuff for both either YouTube and audio. Like it's tough. Mm. So every day I'm on the bus, I'm on the train and I'm just writing stuff, like writing down notes mm-hmm. for the end of the week. So that's mm-hmm. how I'm managing it right now. Hey, we're going to get into that as we go along. So <laughs> let's get into this long awaited interview with one of the most bubbly animated people <laughs> out there. Um, so yeah, give us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background. So I like long walks on the beach and <laughs> just kidding. She went straight Hallmark Channel on us, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> right? straight right. out the gate. <laughs> I'm looking for love. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Let's see a little bit about myself. I think you can kind of see my personality. This is just who I am. I'm always joking around. I really don't take things very seriously unless Mm -hmm. I absolutely necessarily have to take things seriously. Yeah. I just like putting that out there because a lot of people are always like, oh, well, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't joke around so much. You shouldn't do this. I'm like, no, I will absolutely do those things because it's what keeps me sane. (laughs) I feel you. Right. And so it's time for me to like buckle down and be like, okay, we got to figure this stuff out. Um, Because other than that, things that happen, like it's just not that serious. It's not. You know what I'm saying? People would just really make their lives a lot harder with the, oh, woe is me. Listen, I don't have enough time in the day to think woe is me. I got to, you know, keep going, keep moving. So that's just, that's who I am. Just fun, bubbly podcaster, mother, wife now. Yeah, we'll get into that too. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, that's just me. So you're from the... Let me see. The great state of New York City. Uh, Are you originally from there? 
Yes, I was born and raised in in the Bronx. Ever heard of it? The Bronx? 183rd <laughs> University, baby. <laughs> Get out of here. How yes. have I never seen you in my life? Uh, let's see. How long ago? Shit. A long time ago? Yeah. Uh, so you know Father Siza and DeVoe Park over there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I I live right live right on the corner, twenty two sixty three. Get out of here! Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that was that was uh, stomping grounds for old little Michelle and her okay. friends. But yeah, New York City is I. Right. Okay. It's okay. So I know a lot of people will be like, "Well, is she Puerto Rican? Is she Cuban?" No. Listen, I'm not Puerto Rican. I'm not Cuban. I've gotten <laughs> I've gotten Japanese. I've gotten black. What? Yeah, I've got Japanese and black. That that was people would come up to me and ask me, "Are you mixed with Japanese and black?" No, I am not. <laughs> I've gotten Filipino, Ugh. but never really just straight up Dominican. Just Dominican. That's just me. I'm stuck on the Japanese part. Um, Japanese. I have gotten Japanese, and I don't yeah. even. I don't see it. I don't know <clears throat> how. I don't know where that came from. But I have gotten Japanese. I don't, I don't know how they do it up there up there now because I have not lived up there in decades. But you know, mm -hmm. you know, most Hispanics are just labeled as Spanish. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's open. And up until recently, though, I've stopped saying that because I was like, well, we're not Spaniards. Like you know, right. I'm trying to like be culturally right, culturally <laughs> correct and all that nonsense. Yeah. Because like, well, we're not Spaniards because we're not Spanish. So we're Hispanic or right. Latino. Right. And everybody's like, yeah, sure. So you cook Spanish food? I'm like, fuck. Right. <laughs> 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 what has it all? This has been for not for nothing. Right. You know, it's like, come on. I, I, I tried. You know what? Let me just, hey, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. Right, exactly. <laughs> and that's be really Roman. So Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned married. Um yeah. how has the transition to being a wife been? I mean, I know you're still a newlywed technically, but how's that transition been for you? Um so it's been fun. My husband, I always gotta remember he's not my boyfriend. He's not your boyfriend. <laughs> and I always and that's the first thing I always I'm like my boyfriend. Oh. Oh, damn it. My fiance, oh, wait. Oh, man. Reset. And at that point, everybody's looking at me like, girl, yeah, right. You're lying. I'm like, well, I swear. I'm an adult who's married. I promise. Oh, my. Um, <laughs> but um, so it's been very fun. Him and I have been living together for a while. So we kind of knew our nuances already. So okay. when it came to um, that, we kind of, we were already, you know, in that unison, I guess. Right, unison. right. But everything else is kind of different because then you have like serious talks now like okay. <laughs> wait a minute because okay so before and by serious talks i mean like so uh what do you think about life insurance i'm like oh, oh damn i gotta get one of those he's like yeah <laughs> i'm like oh okay i guess i want one how do you let's sign up he's like girl stop playing <laughs> I'm like, let's sign up right now um let's see like we're thinking about because we want to get out of the city, so we're definitely going to move, uh -huh. and we're, we're going to buy a house, and this will be my first house Ooh. ever. I know, and I'm like, oh, mm. this is scary, because this is a bigger <clears throat> place and bigger responsibilities here. Man, I'm, like, so I'm, I'm like, hey, super, sir, I need you to come down here and fix this. Now he's just like, no, we have to fix things on our own. We have to learn yeah. how to economize. <clears throat> so just a lot of planning Mm -hmm. And I was just like, wow, this is what adulthood feels like. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's it's funny how you said now you have to have serious conversations as if you didn't have serious conversations before. Uh, the whole life insurance, the whole uh, medical insurance and all of that stuff. Um, wills and all that. And Thank you. I didn't even want to mention that. Every time he's like, oh, you know, we got to speak to our attorney about the will and I'm just like oh he don't want to hear about none of that <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> look here <laughs> let me tell you do not be like the average um oh. Hispanic minority Latino yes. and put that off because you don't want to deal with it and you don't want right. to think look I know so many people who fall into that trap and then when something happens it's like they in crisis mode 
No, you're right. You're 100% right. I think it's just more of me thinking like wills because we actually have to sit there and say, okay, if something happens yeah. to you, if something happens to me, we have to <coughs> lay out this whole plan. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, no, that's so sad. Like, I hope we never have to, you know, like, yeah. unless it's for natural causes, I hope we would never have to go through anything like this. So I think that's really the scary part of it. But once I got over that, I'm like, yeah, we have to do it because we have to make sure, our, you know, our kids are set up. We have to make sure yeah. we're set up. You just never know, especially yeah, living definitely. in New York City. Yeah. It's wild out I, here right now. Yeah. It, it's a, it's a um intimidating conversation, but once you start the process, you'd be like, what the hell was I worried about? <laughs> it's like, exactly. it's really simple once you like get it all done. Yeah. But yeah, that, that whole house thing, make sure you have a, a house fund. <laughs> and that, you know, I'm glad you said that because that's another thing we talked about. He's like, okay, we need to have at least this amount for the house, for any repairs, for like, yes. if we want to, like even for furnishing, he's like, we need yes. to have an amount for furnishing. We have to have an emergency amount. <clears throat> we have to have an emergency, you know, like emergency surgery, emergency medical situation amount. Yes. Like everything is very, I guess, strategically planned. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. I am a planner, but this to me, this is like a grander scale of planning. It is. Yeah. Home, and home warranties are a joke. Um, just throwing that out there. Really? So no home warranty. <sighs> let me tell you, they're good for certain things. Okay. Um, but let me tell you, my AC unit broke in July and it was hot down here. I called the home warranty people. They came out and the guy said, oh, first of all, he almost got shot because he just walked in my door. He didn't knock. He was walking in my door. And I'm like, who the hell is walking in my door? But <clears throat> so he comes down. He's like, oh, it looks good. It looks brand new. I'm like, bro, I've been in this house since 2012 and it's been there already. So. He's telling me, oh, yeah, we got to go back to the home warranty people. This was on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. No, it was on a Thursday. And he said, it's a Friday, so it probably won't get processed till next week. And it'll probably be two or three weeks. And mind you, it's 90 degrees. And, oh. you know, heat rises, and I have a split-level house. And it was every bit of 80, 90 degrees upstairs. So I had to call someone and drop two Gs to get my ac fixed and that that guy with the home warranty company he just called me back two weeks ago it's summer's over yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. fall yeah right yeah yeah no. yeah so um yeah home warranties they good for little things but major things just make sure you have that that house fund set aside okay all right yeah yeah, wise words from wise soul to chat. Yeah. Um, and, 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 oh, have you started house hunting yet? So we've started looking. Like right now we're going through like all the apps, looking at like okay. open houses, but we haven't actually gone to an open house or to view a home yet. That's coming up now that it's, by the time it hits October, that's kind of like our goal to start looking at different houses. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, another hint do as much online searching as you can okay. and narrow down like three, four, five that you are definitely interested in. Okay. Cause I know people who they go out there and they drive and they do like 10, 15 open houses, this, and they losing hair, they're depressed, they're smoking, drinking and yeah. as much online as you can. Okay, because that's what we've been doing. Like every time yeah. we send each other something. So we've been like, we made a list of things that we're looking for, things that are like hard stops, things because yeah. we figured once we're out of here, we want to go somewhere where we're just going to be there for the rest of our lives. If the kids are going to take it, if we ever yeah. have to resell it, yeah. just something that's of value um, mm -hmm. for all of us. And there's so <clears> many <throat> stops for me. Like I was like, I need my own bathroom because I'm tired of y'all mm -hmm. coming in the bathroom and messing my yeah. stuff up. Y'all can't, y'all not allowed. I will put a lock. On my I door, that's right. and I go to the bath. No, use your own bathroom. Um, I also want like a lot of space because mm -hmm. I do like planting things. Like I right. want to grow. Like my oh, you know, you have like your own like apple trees and all this other stuff. Like so, I do want a lot mm -hmm. of land. So we've been looking at that, which just means you know go, going a little further away from New York, mm -hmm. which is fine. We also got to think about transportation. So all these things we've been looking up, and that's what we're like basing what we're finding. 
and it's so far has been looking really good. That's good. But, That's good. But I am very. However, good. comma. I know. However, <laughs> thus. <hence my> <laughs> <laughs> I am very, very picky. So there are things that he'll send me and he's like, yo, this place looks great. And I'm like, nah, X, next. He's like, yo, mm. we have like four in the running right now. And I'm like, wow. so? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not about quantity, it's about quality, bro. Quality. Right. <laughs> so he's just like, all right. So let's see. Yeah. Um, and make sure you have a nice layout. Uh, that's essential. And the one of the one of the things that I made sure I did not have to deal with was homeowners association. Oh, like within like the community, like communities and yes. stuff like that. Yes. See, I, I don't do not. nice. I don't do well playing with others when it comes to like like I barely do it here. <laughs> Right. In the building. And they're very nice. And I've been here for very long. And now I'm like, you know, like floor captain because yeah. we don't really have like a, it's not a co-op or a condo or anything, uh -huh. but because the building is so old, we have so many elderly who have actually taken it upon themselves, you know, to take care of the building. Right. Yeah. We do have like a tenants association mm -hmm. and I just became like a floor captain. So I'm getting like my first inside look to the tenants <laughs> association. I'm like, y'all giving me too much power. I feel like I'm <laughs> <right> now. <laughs> You know, you know, one man should have all this power. Kanye said it. Um, right. So you know, I'll be walking around like, "Hey, how how you doing?" I swear, I'm on the I'm on the floor. Like, "Hey, how you guys doing? How's work? Awesome. Have a good day." Oh, and my, my husband's like, "If you don't get your ass inside this house right, right now, I'm like, what? I'm like, <laughs> I always put my hands up here. I'm like, what? You know, I'm part. Of, I'm a floor captain, so I got to." <laughs> So, like, yeah, pop my suspenders. Right, I'm a floor <laughs> captain. So, if there's any problems, take my number. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness, you are too much. He's like, yeah, Yo, you don't go home right now. Like, you just work twelve hours. Oh my sleep. god, like, I gotta do my duty. It is my job. Um, but even here, I've always kept to myself because uh -huh. that's that's just I like doing that i like coming home yeah. after dealing with everybody outside and just being in my own you know little world so i can't deal with like homeowners associations yeah. and and funds and meetings and oh the so jimmy moved down the block and his kids i don't care about jimmy or his kids that's not my right. business to me alone <laughs> and, and this is my house and i can do whatever i want with my house Absolutely. i'm not waiting for a vote or permission Thank nah no. out of here with that if I want a fence around my stuff, I'm going to build a fence around my stuff. Don't you tell me I can't build a fence around my stuff. And don't so, tell me what kind of fence I can build around my stuff. Right, right. Yeah, for the Thank birds. Right. For the birds, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, as far as podcasting, um, has your husband, your husband has been on as, a, as your husband, hasn't he? Um, he's been on there as my fiance. Okay. And he's been on there, yeah. Once we got married, yeah, he one episode in as my husband. Yes. Okay. So, um, what is his, his overall take on podcasting? And, and with that, how was he as your fiance, and how was he as your husband on the podcast? So, uh, I think it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Him as my fiance, as my husband. The only thing is, I will tell you, he's a lot more like lovey dovey on okay. air now that he's my husband. He's like, oh my God, you're doing such great things. I love <laughs> you. And I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> Um, Back to the agenda. Just like, but I asked you about what's your about your favorite meal. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, wow. I'm so proud of you. Um, so it's it's to me it's the same. I mean, uh -huh. he does love to show off his love towards me, and I love that. Okay. I'm like, oh my god, I'm blushing. Um, but as far as podcasting, he enjoys being a guest on mine. He had actually a podcast a long time ago with his friends. Don't ask me about mm -hmm. the name because I do not remember. And I'm so <laughs> sorry if you're listening. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was a while ago. I think I want to say when the right, the beginning of COVID. Okay. He had like his only thing is like him and all his best friends since junior high. Um, and they just kind of stopped, but he's a photographer. So I think all this artsy and creativeness mm -hmm. He does enjoy it, um, but he likes to be behind the camera as opposed to okay. me, who's always like, <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> okay. So, yeah. 
All right. So, um, what are you most passionate about just overall in general life and all of that? Um, that's a hard question. Cause I find myself being passionate about a lot of things mm -hmm. and I'm one of those people that if I want to accomplish something, I'm definitely going to go for it and I'm going to make sure that I accomplish it only because I know it's going to make me happy. It's not like right. to really prove myself to anyone, but it's because I know it's, I'm really going to enjoy it. It's going to make me happy. Um, so like one of my passions for right now is I, I well, I've always loved comedy mm -hmm. um, and I've always thought of myself as a really funny person, you know, hit or miss. Some people are just like, whoa, that was a little too dark. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that kind of came from a dark place, um, but it's funny nonetheless. Um, so I do like um, comedy. I do. I love podcasting. I also love my job. And of mm -hmm. course, I'm not going to give you the cliche answers like I'm very passionate about my family. And <laughs> because to me, they're two different things. Like I love my right. family. They're my heart. They're my soul. I got to do what I got to do for them. But if we're talking about me, myself as an individual and having my own voice, I'm passionate about like, you know, comedy. I really mm -hmm. do love podcasting. I love writing. I mm. do like writing things. Um, my husband wants, <laughs> we're actually thinking about a movie, like a short oh, okay. film that he wants to work on. And I'm having so much fun just throwing in ideas mm -hmm. and trying to figure all that stuff out. So I do enjoy doing all those things. So. That would be interesting yeah. seeing you in a movie, seeing how, like seeing you tap into that part of you. Well, a long, a long, long time ago, <laughs> um, very long ago, I don't even know what happened to the film. <laughs> I was working on a film um, that one of my, he was a high school friend of mine. He mm -hmm. wrote this like movie about, I guess it was himself as like a kid and all the trials and tribulations he went through. And it was kind of like a religious movie. And I'm not really mm -hmm. a religious person, but I was just okay. like, you know what, let's do it. So um, we never finished it, but I was in that for a little bit. Don't know what happened to it. But that was fun. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's as that's as far as I get into like ever being in a movie or anything. Okay, so you're not too into religion. What about politics and social issues? How does that uh, factor into your life? I can't. I don't like. To, I don't like to do politics. It's too messy. <laughs> yeah. It's too messy. Everybody's always lying. I can't, I don't know who to trust. <laughs> It'd be, right. be your own people. I'm just like, yeah, oh my God, I'm so passionate, passionate about what oh you're saying. God. And I believe you. And then you turn around and they whisper something to you. You're like, oh, well, she's lying. Cause, and you're a politician. How dare you? Mm -hmm. So I'm just, it's too messy. I like to be like, I like to be honest. And I feel like politics mm -hmm. is just full of dishonest people. Yeah. Unfortunately, we need it to survive as a society because that's what our, you know, country is built on, on politics yeah. and structure and government. Um, but it's just like, I can't sit down and have like a hour, like hours of conversation fighting on who was the best president or why is the mayor such a media whore? Like, it's not my fault. Yeah. Mayor yeah. Adams is a media <laughs> whore. That's just who he is. And I keep tweeting him. Shout out Mayor Adams. I keep tweeting you. I can't keep defending you. And I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> I, you I, say yeah. that? I keep tweeting him. I'm like, sir, I can't keep defending you. Oh, and wow. It's so funny because eventually, hopefully, I get a response. Man, <laughs> 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 like, yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. But now that we're talking. What's oh, up? my <laughs> God. Wait a minute. <laughs> so if you get a response from him, how, how are you going to take that? Are you going to get him to come on your podcast? Like what? I would love it. I would love it. Like, excuse me, you know, my husband is a retired police officer. You're retired, you know, MTA police. Mm. We got to get something going on. Let's let's oh, speak wow. your truth, Mr. Maya. He's going to be oh, like, girl, wow. you better sit down. But it's I okay. I'll shoot my shot. Keep at it. Keep shooting your shot. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna hit them threes. I, 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 I'm, I'm confident. Confident. Yes. I mean, he'll, he'll, I'm a vibe. I think he'll have a lot of fun. I think, I think he will too. Over, right? Yeah. yeah. I think he'll have yeah. a lot of fun. You know, he got to get over his media whore thing and come down Thank to, you, you know. He's just everywhere talking about New York City tap water is the best water. No, it's not. Don't yeah. lie. To, well, you yeah. know what? It is the best water from, you know, considering other places in the world. However. You mean, however, you're comma. Drinking, right, you're not right. You're not drinking tap water, May Adams. <laughs> right. <laughs> you ain't got to lie. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Politicians are always lying. Okay. Always, always, always. <laughs>
So um, how long have you been podcasting and what got you started podcasting? Um, so I've been podcasting since April of last year. So I've okay. made a year this April. Um, and I started podcasting. I feel like a lot of people have similar stories, at least people I've spoken to. Their stories mm -hmm. usually like, you know, I mean, not only did COVID hit, but then there were so many kind of feelings and realizations in life. And working from home, we're not working at all. Mm -hmm. It's just like there's so many other options out there in the world. And I've always felt, although I've done, I've been working in healthcare and in medicine for a very, very long time, for like 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. I was just like, my personality calls for more. And podcasting gave me the opportunity to kind of just show the world who I am as like a real person instead of this, right. you know, persona who's like always seeing a patient who's always caring for somebody. Like I have a fun side too. I have a mm -hmm. silly side. I have stuff to talk about. Um, I'm entertaining. Like I, and podcasting just really gave me the ability to explore and just mm -hmm. share all of that. Okay. Okay. My next my follow question was what were, what were your motivations that led you to podcasting? But I want to switch that up a little bit too. Is, is do you ever are, are you ever concerned about podcasting be a conflict of interest with your job um not really so that's a little difficult because where i work uh sometimes we get a lot of media attention because of the mm -hmm. type of work i do and the type of patients mm -hmm. that we have right so I never, because I'm always professional first, I would never, ever, unless it was okay and I got the green light from everyone to mention like names or to talk about certain okay. things or certain events or things that transpired. So I would never, ever cross that boundary. And I think everyone at my job knows that I podcast. And that's mm -hmm. one thing going back into, because I was working from home and then I kind of stopped working completely because I was going to nursing school and then I realized that I'm going to kill everybody in my nursing school and I said <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Um, <laughs> guys, don't read too much into that. I am no killer. Oh, no. Right. He is not a killer. <laughs> Trust I'm me, not, I know. Right. I was just going to say I'm no killer. Um, but when I went back to work, which is why today I was just like, yeah, playing with me. One mm -hmm. of the biggest stipulations was Michelle is putting podcasting front and center, and she's mm -hmm. here to actually help us, not right. the other way around, which mm -hmm. I really did appreciate because it put me on a pedestal where I felt like, wow, you guys are really taking into consideration what I want to do. And there's not many employers out there that would do that. So that I appreciate true. that. That's why I'm always like, yep, I'm here, whatever you guys need, because I really do appreciate the fact that they put my podcasting first because that's what it was. Mm -hmm. So there really, I don't think there'll ever be any conflicts. I would never, I don't know. I, I would never do anything to jeopardize that. And mm -hmm. they know that. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, I know you would never like we as podcasters would never do anything intentionally to jeopardize, but you know, there's always that outside force that, Hmm let me see. And you know, they, they start making things something that there isn't. So that's why I wanted to ask yeah. that question. And I try <laughs> to stay away from people like that. I like to think that I'm a good judge of, you know, character, right? but it's just, you never know people's intentions, right? They, they'll switch up overnight. Um, but that's one of the things about like podcasting or even doing what we do in general, just posting mm -hmm. content, having, even having social media, that's one of the risks. You always have those people yeah. who are going to, you know, so. Yeah, definitely. 